Hi and welcome to drawing of lines uh, function in Python using Pygame. Uh, if you take a very close look at these uh, drawings here, you can see white and red lines. They are all both on a vertical. Vertical. They are both vertical lines actually. But if you then have another close look, I believe you can see. You will see I've also drawn some text in the drawing vertical lines draw vertical lines so I've used two different methods here I've used both four loops actually I use Y loop for the red line and for loop for the white lines what I will do next is take you guys straight into the coding area so that you can see the loops method that I've used for loop and while loop and I've also used drawn function with the draw object to get this on board so let's go into the coding area now okay I started by defining my I actually import this library on board which is the pi game agreed I don't need all of this uh, color that were defined but uh, if you notice I've used most of these so the only ones that I need is uh, the black white red and pink those are the colors needed I'll carry out one or two changes so that you see how I've put that together and uh, the next thing I then did was uh, I define my screen that's the screen right there the resolution also right in there then uh, I have my title in here draw lines draw lines and text let me just say and text all right now I use a while loop right here right here that's where I use my while loop for the lines that are in red there they are here are my coordinates right there this and these are the coordinate this is the vertical the length and here is the size of those lines and I said increment by 10 that's the spacing in between now I then went further I define my vertical lines these vertical lines I set it to force and here that's the system manager there I call it system manager because it's used to manage how fast the stream will update and here I have my font you might be wondering why all of this I have all of this because that's where my font is uh, that's what I'm calling the I've actually used from and to get to that all you need to do is go to C column window Font and that's the name of the font I can even change it or you can just go into window and get that sorted maybe I should show you how I did that so you go straight let's go straight into windows now we have windows right there and right here you go into windows look for font and there those are the fonts whatever font you want to use you can always either right click on it and say open in new window there they are right click on it that's the name of the font all you just need to do is copy that once it's copied remember you have C column backslash font and the other font just like I did here so I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about that's the one I copied I'm just gonna copy this across paste it right here now copy this new font and just paste it here that's it I can always comment this out run the program again and you will see the difference in the font can you see it now and see how different the font is so that's how you change the fonts let me show it to you again take that back run the program and you see my previous font right there okay you see the difference between both fonts so that's how you change your font okay let's move on all of the content right in here 
here this is to check if user did anything okay if something is done and here if user click on close and this is just to flag that you have completed whatever you want to do and uh, you want to exit the loop right there and the next part of this code this is the for loop this is where I've used the for loop to draw my line so if I run the program or well, before I run the program you will see the program is to be did lines are to be drawn using white and have my x and y coordinate there the vertical length of the lines and the size of the line so if I run it that's the those are the lines there white just to confirm that that's the line we can change it let's change it to any of the colors that I've defined up here maybe let's go for dark green let's see paste that in here let's run it again save and run there and you guys see that it even looks more beautiful with the dark green that is for the for loop right there just to show you one or two things if I decide let's say I take off that you will see what will happen to the size just like I've told you earlier on before and you see the size right there the size is reduced so but I've used the whole resolution of my screen which is 650 right there so I'm just going to say undo that's it right there supposing I change this to 20 let's see what's going to happen so you can always play around just play around with the argument you can see what happened with 20 okay that's how the 20 looks okay I can even let, let's say I take it to something like 5 if I go for 5 can you see the difference so that's why well, that's why you need to play around with it and uh, just just to see what's going on and here we have the font that's the variable for my font that's just a variable there I can change it to anything I can change my my font or my text okay and that means this variable that is declared here this will become my text as well right then I also have a text one okay but now let's go through go ahead and see what my text is all about this variable equals font dot render draw this content out and make that true and that becomes that's the color that has defined right up there okay we said make that true let's find out what will happen if we make that false okay. but just before then here I suppose system dot bleed that is where I have my coordinates but just to find out what force will happen let's see what force we have will render for us you can see force works as expected or as usual if I take it to true the same thing so I I can surely say it's got the true it's got to do with the smoothness of the text why with the force it looks a little bit jaggedy um, I can also conclude that it's got to do with the anti-aliasing so I feel uh, you should always set it to true the second that's the second variable you can change it to whatever you like I don't know anything maybe lane text lane so we have the second part as text lane all I just need to do is to change this to text lane right there we'll run it and that's what you get my variable works the way I want okay so when we if we come down here you see 
the display say pi display dot flip yeah pi game dot flip is all about updating the screen okay just up update it that's all it's all about and here we have clock dot tick 30 times we're now talking of 30 frames per second you can change it to whatever be 60 frames per second and here this is just to quit the system so if I run it that means the system will be run at 30 frames per second there and that it is all for this program but before I go let me show you guys one more time all of the codes here I have all of my code the colors used so far I can always delete the ones I have not used. Let's run the program one more time. There. Okay, those are just the colors that I needed for this uh, mirror tutorial. So, not to confuse you guys, that's why I'm doing this. If you now have a good look at the codes, there they are. We don't need this as well that off now bring it down those are the lines of code that you need f just for this tutorial that's how easy it is so I'm just gonna call it a day right now and you all have a nice day bye for now